Hello and welcome back to Civil Field Trainers. My name is Shadab. In this class, we'll be doing the detailing of Beam for this given project. I'm using uh, ATAPS 21 version. Detailing option is only available in 16 and 21 version as of now. All right. So before we start detailing, there are three things that you have to always make sure of. First is we have to go to analyze. You have to go to check model. Okay. Here you can check your model up till 10 mm, 20 mm, 50 mm. Check your model to that limit and make sure that there are no problems in your, uh, you know, there are no additional joint points or anything as such okay this will sometimes what it does is it will create problems in your uh, detailing options okay so make sure that you get a thing like this there are no problem as such this is your very first step you go to analyze you go to check model and you check your model and make sure that it has no problems as such after that is done you have to run the analysis okay this is very important because without detailing option you won't be able to oh sorry without the design option you won't be able to generate any detailings for yourself okay so let it so let it done, do the entire analysis first Okay, I'll, I'll just show you what happens if you just go for detailing directly without doing the uh, design part. So, okay, if I go to detailing and go for concrete uh, detailing and go for this update option, beam detailing thing, I, I'll open it up and you have to select your floor. When you do that, you can see here, you get a thing like no design, no design. I mean, if you open up everything, you won't get any results as such. Okay, so what you have to do, first you have to do your analysis, second you have to run your analysis. Then you have to do the design part. Once you have done your design part, it will again, again take 5 to 10 seconds to run the entire design for your building. Once the entire design part is done, when you are getting all these steel values, right? Whatever area of steel you are seeing, this area of steel will be converted into number of bars by the software. Alright? Once these three things are done, you can go for detailing. I'll just uh, clear the old detailing completely. I'll just clear it off. Click on OK. Then I'll go for detailing option again. In that, I'll go for concrete detailing and I'll go for run bar beam update uh this one option okay detailing option just click on this and you have to select the floor again i'll say the first floor this time after you selected the floor you will get proper detailing like this okay so whatever you're seeing right now all right this belongs to my course eight app safe and rcdc if you come here i have given 200 coupons off right now both for star pro and rcdc combo uh, combination and eight app safe and rcdc combination okay but here i have given an additional 500 coupon code off for the eight app safe and rcdc option if you want to learn this course, you can just apply the coupon code and it will come for 1000 rupees for you. Alright, see over 5 years of validity you will have for this complete course, combo course. Again, there are a lot of learning materials in this, approximately 150 videos are there, Hindi and English both. You go for content. Recently what I did was, I added 1-4 hours of content here. Okay, it apps 21, RCDC, client submission drawings. As long as you don't submit the drawings to your client, there is no way you get paid for your work. Okay, so this is very important. I have included this 4 hours of update also in this. Alright, so if you want to learn ATAP safe and RCDC, one complete package start to finish, you can go and make the purchase. I'll give the link in the description. Now coming back to the problem at hand, what we have done is we have generated our detailing. But if you come and see here, there is so much of information given here. Okay, you cannot send all this information to the site. People will get confused like anything. But before you start removing things, you have to understand what this information is, right? So what I want to do is just completely close everything off. Okay, like this is completely close everything off. What did we do? Basically, we went to our detailing option. Okay. Went to our detailing option. We went from concrete detailing and we selected the very first option. Let me just do clear detailing once more. So whatever previous detailing is there, it will just completely go away. We come over here. Again, we rerun the uh, update. All right. After rerunning the update, you have to select your floor. Click on OK. And once you have done that, you will get some all these options. So just close everything. Just be in the beams option. We'll come from here only. We'll open up everything one by one and we will discuss. So if you see here, all our beams are there, right? So system, what it has done is ATAP software. By default, it has merged the beams. Okay. So this has become combined beam one, combined beam two. You can see CB2 here, combined beam two. Let me close this for a second. Okay. Then we have combined beam three, four, five, and six. In the bottom, we have seven, eight, and nine. So like this, we have got all the beams combined like this. All right, the system has done this. So we open up the beams option in this. We have first floor option because that's what the floor is selected. You can go to the 3D view and you can get a 3D representation of the entire beam. So this is how your beam uh, or your steel reinforcement would look like. Okay, from the top view. So if you go in and see, you can see here whatever uh, cut limit has to be done has been done. Okay, all the bars have been pulled. LD, you can see everything is fine. The only problem is in the 3D representation, what it has done is all the ties are in one side only even though hook is 135 mm sorry 135 degrees okay 
all the hooks are 185 degrees only but all of them are on one side if you know one side what we do is we do a zigzag pattern okay if one hook is over here the second one will be over here third will be over here fourth will be over there anyway we're not gonna give uh, 3d diagrams on the side so it's not a big issue as such okay so let me come back to the beam group and you can see here you can open up the beam group and you can see all the detail about them here okay so just minimize the beam group go for the individual beams okay for example if i want to see cb9 for example i will open up cb9 okay i'll open up beam day bars and you can see here we have all this information available for us okay so if i come here we have grids 1 2 3 4 5 so if i click on beam option you can see 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 we have so we're looking at cb9 this particular beam is what we are trying to understand what amount of reinforcement is required so i'll come down now to the support part okay just double click you'll be able to see this diagram in this also we have got elevations okay so they have this section marks they have given right one two three four you have to just open up uh, your beam views and you can see a section one two three four all the section also is visible a lot of information will be given to you okay so top bar a is over here so in the support one this is support one okay this is support two whatever support is a support two support three like this we have got all the supports here so at support one we have got top bar a top bar b then we have got bottom bar f and bottom bar g so we have got four bars of the support so we have got this four information i'll come to support two now so you can see top bar c is there top bar d is there then bottom bar h and bottom bar j so like this you have to open up each and every support and just understand what kind of reinforcement is given see they are directly mentioned here two bars of 20 dia that has been given two bars of 20 dia for beat has been given all this information is available okay this is about the support part okay now if you come for the span portion in the span what do we get okay we get stirrups right so we have zone a zone b zone c zone d and zone e if you have a uh, working side you'll understand that for small g plus 2 g plus 3 buildings we don't do zones everything will be at 150 mm center to center distance in some places they do follow the zones where they give more amount of space in the middle if you see here it is 120 spacing at the at the support part in the middle is 250 spacing okay on that what do we do in the initial three four links will be placed very closely okay rest of them will be at 150 center to center that's how we practice on site okay again each and everyone do, does their own thing so again you can come over here and you can see all this information now what i'll do is i want to edit this data okay whatever data, data you are seeing i want to edit this data okay so i'll right click here i click on edit beam rebars all right see we are in what we are in beam detailing space right so if you want to create any drawing i cannot take any drawing here i can only edit the data right now okay so right click over here click on edit beam three bars so the entire thing will open up here for you like this okay you have got your zone a b c d e everything you have got so this is our span one and you can see top bar what is there two bars of 20 right i'll just increase this to three or you can increase it to four also just to, for the explanation purpose i increase it to four what am i getting now four bar of 20 i'm 20 i'm getting i don't want four i want it to be two, two again so you can just change it to two so it becomes two bar of 20 same thing with setups also initial is 120 12 at 120 right so i'll make it what i'll make it 100 over here so you can just come and see it becomes 100 at one uh, see 12 at 100 it becomes the next if you see it is 248 248 has been added to 250 here so what i'll do i'll make it 240 here click enter if you just scroll in it becomes 240 so it's very simple okay once all of this is done click on okay it will update the entire drawing in the bottom left corner you can see it is updating the entire drawing for you once the updating is done and everything is done you can go for drawing management okay and then click on open drawing manager what where we, the initial option was this right run bar update beam rating this is what this is where we were initially now we are coming over here a uh, generate bar show beam uh, group sorry drawing manager and click click over here open drawing manager in this just select the updated part and everything whatever beam is there and then click on ok now if you come and see here we have got again elevation and everything in this elevation whatever values we had given that will come into the picture okay if you want to change it you can go back and change it and come back over here no problem so what i'm going to do is i think we were in cb9 so a cb9 elevation you can see whatever information we had given that information is available here okay so after doing this much if you want to take a printout just right click over here now because we are in drawing manager you can just click on right there and click on print view if you click on print view you should get a pdf option okay you should be able to get an option like this see many a times if you're opening it tabs 19 or it have 16 files in tabs 21 files generally there will be a scaling issue 
okay please keep that in mind this entire uh, thing that i had done i had done in etabs 21 itself okay so if you are opening a lower version file into a higher version i have seen this time and again that there are some scaling issues that comes into picture so be very careful so this is what you have you want to change the size to a3 you can change the size to a3 if you want to change the size to a4 you can change the size to a4 i'll keep it a3 i'll make it landscape it will look something like this i'll click on print okay this is getting printed i'll give it as one two i uh, just triple one also is fine okay so like this your entire uh, thing can be printed not just elevation if you want rebar profiles also okay if you want just go for right click click on print view and when you click on print view it will take some time it will come like this you will be able to generate that okay if you want to print this also you can print it okay what is this boq and everything also if you want you can take this out if you want to see the 3d view we can see the 3d view once more like this and if you want to see the 3d view for the entire thing just come to the bottom click on 3d view over here and you can see the 3d view for the entire diagram like this okay and our building sorry all right so you can take printouts like this separately also you can take if you want to take combine also you can take printouts no problem as such and not just uh, pdfs if you click on here and click on export view okay you can create a dxf version all right so i'll just go to the new folder option that i have on desktop just click and see if it gets there so i'll just open the files you can see this is the entire file and if i open up this elevation option okay it will come something like this all right so once it is there here you can just come and if you want to change any uh, first you have to select everything okay you have to go to explore option here okay explore the whole drawing and then you can double click if instead of 120 you want to make it 100 we can make it 100 over here all right whatever options you want to keep you can keep if you want to remove these things you can just select them and remove them also no problem whatsoever whatever changes you want to make you can make here after the uh, drawing is exported to your autocad all right i personally use rcdc right that's why i have got my entire course based on etap safe and rcd this is my workflow currently the problem the initial file is given in autocad i take that autocad file to etaps from etaps i'll do all the modeling and everything i'll generate all the results in etaps once everything is done the foundation part is then where it is done in safe option okay if you just come here if you go to the uh, different things that i have here you can see all this practice files and all you'll get in the safe option you can go we have got isolated combined trapezoidal all this above uh, you know foundations we have so for the foundation part i use safe for the sub, uh, superstructure part i use etabs once all the data generate from there i'll go to rcdc software okay in the rcdc software what i do i generate my drawings okay to understand one complete start to finish drawing you can open up this thing okay so this g plus pro model only i have taken this is iit project basically so from starting how to create a grid in etabs to all the way to the end to get some machine drawings everything is covered and this is actually an update right so we have all three to four models before also so overall four to five models you will get in etabs for thousand rupees etab safe and rcdc so if you're interested please go and check out the content i'll give the link in the description all right thank you